This small electric heater has a coiled loop of wire inside it that gets really hot when electricity passes through it. It also has a fan. The heater is designed to heat small rooms like a bedroom. I'm sitting about one metre away from the heater and it's keeping me warm. But how does the heat energy being generated over there get to me over here? The heat energy doesn't conduct because air is a poor conductor. Well, quite simply, the air passing through the heater and heating up over there gets blown over towards me, thanks to the fan that's inside the heater, and carries the heat energy with it. Convection is the name given to the process by which heat energy is transferred on currents of air, or in fact any liquid or gas. The word convection comes from the word convey, which means to transport something, from one place to another of course. The heat generated by the heater is being transferred to me by convection on the air that is being blown over towards me. The word convection is also related to the word conveyor, as in conveyor belt. A conveyor belt continuously moves things from one place to another. In a room, the air is kind of like a conveyor belt that carries the heat from the heater to the rest of the room. The warm air warms up whatever's in the room and loses some of its warmth in the process. It then returns back to the heater and is reheated and the cycle repeats. The air current carrying the warm air is called a convection current. Inside this central heating unit, under this house, natural gas is being burned to warm up the air being pumped through the unit. A large fan blows the warm air through these insulated air ducts and it comes out of these vents. The warm air then heats up the room. Once again, the heat is transferred by convection from the unit to the rooms of the house. Of course, you can't just pump air into a room from the outside because the air pressure in the room will increase too much. Every central heating system has at least one return air duct so that the air can also return to the central heating unit and be reheated. The inlet for the return air duct is typically placed away from the warm air vents and so the returning air is typically a little cooler than the incoming air. The convection currents carry the heat energy of the fire in the one and only central heating unit through the air ducts to as many rooms as you want. The air ducts are insulated, of course, to stop the heat escaping. Convection is also responsible for the heating up and the cooking of this gnocchi. Gnocchi, by the way, is a bit like pasta, but it's usually made from potatoes. But anyway, the gas flame is heating the metal pot and heat energy transfers by conduction through the metal and then also by conduction from the metal into the water at the bottom of the pot because they're in direct contact. But how does the heat energy then transfer from the water at the bottom of the pot to the water at the top of the pot? Water is not really a good conductor of heat. Well, the hot water actually rises from the bottom and makes contact with the gnocchi floating at the top. The heat energy is transferred by a current of hot water. This is convection at work. Let me illustrate in a way that allows you to see convection. This large beaker is being heated mostly on the left side. The warm water on that side rises. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Heat Episode 5, Heat Transfer. Using highly engaging visuals and outstanding explanations, the Shedding Light on Heat series teaches students everything that they need to know about heat. In Episode 5, Heat Transfer, we look at the three ways that heat energy can transfer from one thing to another. Conduction, convection and radiation. A heat source is useless if heat energy can't transfer from the heat source to whatever you want heated. Understanding heat transfer is essential if you want to cook good food, hmm, something went wrong there, and if you want to stay warm when it's cold and stay cool when it's hot. You can read a transcript of the video that has lots of screen grabs at www.liakoseducationalmedia.com where you can also download the student activity sheet. So visit us today.